Right, so after having gone through that exercise and, um, and identified all the different use case scenarios, right, we only looked at the, uh, at the best case scenario, right, the basic path. Uh, but there might be multiple in the variations of what could go wrong in all the edge cases. Uh, for each one of those, right, we would want to describe these in a, in a, in a use case diagram. Uh, so, yes, as I mentioned earlier, we only looked at one use case scenario, but there might be multiple. Together, all the different paths, right, all the different scenarios, collectively make up a single use case. Right? With, with, uh, you would include all the edge cases and whatnot. So it's a set of scenarios make up one use case. And, and, uh, and they're, typically, they're, they're documented as a stick figure representing a human uh, actor and then a, an oval with a single... Uh, title. Usually, these uh, these titles are are verb phrases, right? That uh, that say you know what verb, who's acting, and then and what object is being acted upon. Right? So this this is says you know take customer order, right? Um, again, so the 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 customer might be the actor, or the barista might be the actor, or the cashier might be the actor, and the and the, so the cashier takes the customer order. Right? So so the cashier being the person who's doing the action. Uh, the action is to take the order, and then the 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 object in uh, in question is the customer order. Also, sometimes the customer order here is a uh, is referred to as a domain object, right? Meaning it's a it's a it's a data representation of some object of interest in your particular domain, right? In the domain of of, of a coffee shop, a customer order is a something we want we want we like to be able to model. Right, so it's a it's an object that is that is specific to this particular domain, just like if you are in the movies, uh, perhaps a, d a domain object might be a movie or a movie ticket, right, or a reservation. Right, so so um, so those would be other other domain objects that are specific to that particular domain of movies. Right, so here, customer order might be relevant to this particular uh, domain. Uh, actors in this case is the uh, is this human actor. Uh, uh, more typically, we don't really care about any specific person as opposed to any particular role that that person might be playing, right? And, and the, it could be the same, the same person playing different roles. It could be the, the person playing the role of a faculty, right, when they're teaching or creating a course and whatnot, but that same person might, might, be, um, might, might be in some other, in some other committee or it might be, they might be part of, a, of um, uh, other parts of the university. Right, in academia or or, in, um, or admissions office or the registrar's office, and playing some other role, even though they're they're the same person. So we really care about the roles, not exactly any particular person. Um, and also, also those those actors might not necessarily be humans, right? They might be some might might be a, 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 might be a bank, some financial institution, right? it might be some governmental agency that uh, we, we also would represent that that. Uh, what are the different uh, actions that that particular non-human person or actor uh, might be doing that interacts with our, our system? Uh, here's the anatomy of a, uh, of a generic uh, use case where you have a, a couple of uh, three different human actors, the customer, the clerk, and the administrator. Uh, you also have a non-human actor here, which is the payment service, presumably, right, that uh, is accepting some payments or is keeping track of multiple payments. And we also have several examples of includes and extends that uh, introduce use cases that might be optional, that are available, but you don't necessarily use day to day, right? Only uh, on demand. For instance, uh, help option is there, but you you not necessarily need to do, uh, do use the help, but it's available there. So we we document some optional use cases <coughs> using the extend that is available at checkout, or it could be also available at any one particular other use case supporting that other use case. The, uh, some of these use cases use the include a relationship that uh, specifies some other use case that needs that needs to be needs to exist or have occurred before we can actually go on and, and do a checkout. For instance, we cannot do the checkout until we have you know some payment from the from the financial institute, institution. Uh, some use case might be shared amongst uh, different actors, so the clerk and the customer, they're both using the, uh, the checkout, whereas some other uh, use cases might be only specific to a specific person, the administrator. So there's a boundary around this. The boundary just tells us exactly what it is that we're building and what we're not building. Right? The, uh, even, even though the, um, the business owner or the business analyst might be describing all sorts of 
features or different things that are occurring, that these might be outside of the system that we're not responsible for. It's, it's very, it needs to be very, very clear on what is it that we're responsible for and not. Okay. Um, just like we can uh, reuse behaviors or reuse uh, data by uh, using uh, generalization, like in class diagrams, where you have base classes that uh, des describe some some common behaviors or some common data that uh, can be inherited by others, we can say, take the same idea with use cases. So for instance, you have here the validate client use case is a base use case that all the other ones can extend, right, that can inherit some behaviors that are declared at a, at a lower level that can then be inherited by others. So for instance, the, the check password, the check thumbprint, the verify retinal scan, all these are special cases special use cases of the more general uh, validate client use case. So that, uh, so that uh, uh, you know, just like in, uh, in, um, in, in Java classes or uh, the idea of generalization, the, uh, the parent can then fit into or take, take the, uh, the, the place of all its children right, to be able to uh, describe more general or more abstract ideas and more abstract uh, use cases. Um, the uh, extend, extending use cases, as I mentioned earlier, allows us to describe use cases that are optional, that we don't, we don't necessarily need to use all the time, but they're available there if you, you know, that are available from a particular use case. Uh, for instance, uh, if you're a place rush order, uh, you, can, um, you can describe some place order uh, additional uh, use cases that you could use uh, optionally. Uh, whereas uh, include are describing some dependencies between use cases where I cannot, I cannot uh, apply this particular use case until you know, some other use cases has uh, successfully uh, completed. Right? I cannot, for instance, place the order or track the order unless right, the validate user has occurred. Right? So, so an include allows you to establish that kind of relationship and, um, uh, or an alternative way to document the same thing is that you, you have a uh, level uh, use case that then can, could, can contain some other use cases underneath that can only exist, can only occur until the outer one uh, succeeds. Uh, here's some just uh, some ideas on, on where you, you would use one or the other, uh, where you have uh, some, some um, use cases that uh, are repeating that you would use over and over and over that uh, you would not want to copy and paste over and over. You can uh, use the include uh, relationship uh, generalization, where you can have some uh, behavior that is uh, uh, that is uh, abstract, and then you can extend that or override those uh, use cases by something that is more specific, uh, or an extent uh, uh, which will allow you to uh, describe either some optional or a variation of an existing uh, use case. Uh, 